All right, so the destroy Trump media mob, again, predictably, like they do every second minute hour of every 24-hour day, shamelessly attacking the president for the tragic mass shooting in Texas, but not the one in Ohio. No, because that shooter supported Elizabeth Warren and was a huge socialist, but their hypocrisy is being exposed by what they are not talking about. We have chronicled on this show many, many times, a lot during the Obama years. Big liberal city, run by liberals for decades and decades and decades. The city of Chicago. This past weekend, well, yeah, another weekend, a lot of gun violence. Seven people killed, 52 other people wounded. One Chicago hospital couldn't even keep up. They had to turn patients away, patients that were shot. We sent our own Lawrence Jones, our investigative reporter, our correspondent, to the Windy City to speak to residents about what has been going on there for a long time that the media doesn't talk about. Watch this. So this weekend, we saw two shootings that got national media coverage, El Paso and Dayton. But Chicago had a deadly shooting as well. Why isn't Chicago getting the attention like the rest of the cities are? I think that... Uh, people have gotten used to this being synonymous with Chicago. That's sad. It's f***ed up out here. You excuse my French and cut that off. And that's it. all I got to say. Why don't you feel like it's being covered right now? Uh, they don't care. It's a race thing, in my opinion. They don't care. You feel like people care about Chicago? The national media cares about Chicago? They don't. They don't. They what about don't. your elected leaders? Nothing. None of them. They just getting a check, in my opinion. They old. Most of them need to be retired. Need, need some young blood in there. I don't see it changing real soon. Why not? Because it's a breakdown of the family unit. You look at where we are. What has changed? Things have gotten progressively worse. How can we solve this issue? Bring in the national guards. That's put them on the street, and give us a curfew. And that's the only thing I can think if they bring in the National Guard. You know, joining us with the reaction, uh, our correspondent, investigator, reporter, Lauren Jones. You know what? A couple of words stood out. It's sad. They don't care. When Obama was president, I took the time on this program, we, and I showed it last night. We scrolled the names, the, uh, and it went on and on and on and on. We did this trying to call attention, bring attention to all of these people shot, many of them murdered. Nobody ever talks about them. 52 people shot, seven dead. Why do we not talk about our family in Chicago? And more importantly, why the hell don't we fix it? Because Rudy Giuliani fixed it in New York. Sean, it's very clear that the south side of Chicago are treated now like the stepchildren of America, and it's very sad. The number is actually up to 59 people that were shot wow. uh, in Chicago. Of course, seven people that were killed. The residents of fear is they're, they're outraged because it's not just the shooting that's happened here. It's the disparity that's here, the economics here as well. And when you have three shootings that actually happened over the weekend and only two of them get the coverage, you explain why that wasn't covered. I think they have a lot to talk about. A lot of the residents didn't even want to go on camera because they were afraid that they would be shot at a res as a result of coming on camera. A lot of the leaders here have something to answer, answer for. I ask you guys to pray for the residents that went on camera here today because a yeah. lot of them are shaking. But they felt like they had a duty to call attention to Chicago. Lawrence, that's our American family. 